Dear students, let us start with the first chapter of class 10 mathematics, real numbers. In class 9, you have studied about rational numbers and irrational numbers. The numbers which can be written in the form of P upon Q where P and Q are integers and Q not equal to 0 are called rational numbers. The numbers which cannot be written in the form of P upon Q where P and Q are integers and Q not equal to 0 are called irrational numbers. The collection of all rational numbers and irrational numbers together make up the collection of real numbers. In class 10, we begin with two very important properties of positive integers. Number one, Euclid's division algorithm. Second one, the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Euclid's division algorithm, as the name suggests, has to do with divisibility of integers. On the other hand, the fundamental theorem of arithmetic has to do something with multiplication of positive integers. To learn Euclid's division algorithm, we have to learn Euclid's division lemma. A lemma is a proven statement which is used to prove other statements. Euclid's division lemma tells us about the division of integers and it is a restatement of the long division process. Let us take an example. Let us see the division of a positive integer 76 by another integer 9. 76 divided by 9. Here 76 is the dividend, 9 is the divisor, 8 is the quotient, 4 is the remainder. Here the remainder is always less than the divisor. Now 76 is equal to 9 into 8 plus 4. 76 is equal to 9 into 8 plus 4. Let us consider 76 as A. This 9 as B. 8 as Q. 4 as R. We can write it as A is equal to B into Q plus R where 0 less than or equal to R less than B. What is the meaning of 0 less than or equal to R less than B? Here in some cases the remainder will become 0 and all the other cases this remainder is always less than the divisor. That is R is less than B. Now we can take more examples. Take 17 divided by 6. 17 divided by 6. Here 17 is the dividend. 6 is the divisor. 2 is the quotient. 5 is the remainder. See the remainder is less than the divisor. So here 17 is A, 6 is B, 2 is Q and 5 is R. 17 is equal to 6 into 2 plus 5 or A is equal to B into Q plus R. That is 0 less than or equal to R less than B. That is one more example. 
20 divided by 4. 20 divided by 4. Okay. Here 20 is A, 4 is B, 5 is Q, 0 is R. 20 is equal to 4 into 5 plus 0. Or A is equal to B into Q plus R where 0 less than or equal to R less than B. That is for each pair of positive integers A and B we have found whole numbers Q and R satisfy the relation A is equal to B into Q plus R where 0 less than or equal to less than B. This relation is known as Euclid's division lemma. This is nothing but it is only the restatement of the long division process. That is dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So this relation is known as Euclid's division lemma. Therefore, Euclid's division lemma states that given positive integers a and b, there exist unique integers q and r satisfy a is equal to bq plus r where 0 less than or equal to r less than b. I want to give you a few questions of this topic for practice. Apply Euclid's division lemma Euclid's division lemma to the following pair of numbers. <laughs> 